Differences perceived as threatening by some were celebrated in Iqbal's poetry. He believed diversity was the underlying force that sustained our ever-changing world. As an Islamic reformer, Iqbal encouraged Muslims to see the wisdom of the Qur'an as synonymous with advancements in modern science. So the first really important contribution of Iqbal is to speak to folks broadly in the 21st century in the West and to say to them, come back again, re-look at science, which you believe is central to modern life, re-look at scripture, particularly the Quran, which you may look at as something outside of the modern world, and I'll show you how these two have always been an intimate relationship. Iqbal understood that it was only through our relationships with others that we could begin to see ourselves. He would call the rampant military paranoia of our times a crisis of understanding. We are not making the world safer through imperial or corporate conquest in the name of freedom. In reality, we have waged a war against our own being. But it's not a conflict or a clash of civilizations. It is a clash within ourselves too. Iqbal's own life was one full of contradiction. Concerned with the future of India as a whole, he would eventually become credited with the idea of a consolidated Muslim state. Though revered as the national poet and spiritual father of Pakistan, he believed in a broader humanity that transcended the borders of national lines. Who was Muhammad Iqbal? And what was the message he wished would reach people long after his death?